Yo, what is good? Why am I praying for what is good? Yo. Bulletin uh, sorry the review's a little bit late. I had already watched half of it, but then other stuff came out, and I got completely lost in it, because Bolton Talk came out before all of this stuff that I posted today. It's just because of me needing to eat and watching other stuff because it popped up out of nowhere. Definitely threw me off. So, this week's episode, though, is surprisingly one of the things I definitely needed to see for the character's growth. Uh, unfortunately, there is a ridiculous amount of, uh, of back story, right? Like, they kept going into what happened. Like, not only with him getting banned and disqualified, but then they go into the Momoshiki invasion. I was like, bruh, <laughs> we get it. Like, these things happen. You could have just referenced it and pushed on. It definitely took up some episode time. And I can pretty much see why, because of what we're about to end up getting here soon, is um, Naruto pretty much showcasing, you know, there is potential growth in his character. Uh, he's capable now to do something that he already wasn't capable of doing to a, like a very easy degree of doing it. So now he can absorb chak uh short absorb jutsu. I'm gonna say chakra, um, because it is. But what absorbing it, he is much more capable of taking care of situational things like water with electricity in it. <laughs> you know, like Naruto really didn't have all that much going for him besides his own speed strength and then the one or two couple of spells that he uses in combat shadow clone rasinga right so these are the types of stuff that really remind you of like how much stuff he still could have even tried to do on bodento but it wasn't necessary it just been overkill literally so, all we really get to see is him absolutely destroying his son, but at the same time, we get to see... Oh, I hit her back into that? That's sick. Oh, I'm dead, though. Um, we get to see just what potentially sh uh, could happen in the future, because at this point, I don't really know if anybody is going to be able to um, beat... Kara or you know destroy all these people easily so the thing that tells you that the most is by Naruto the strongest character in the show getting a power up <laughs> you know like it's getting so crazy that the main character might need this power up to probably handle what's coming up so just keep that in in mind oh I gotta read my book nope she didn't oh, oh. but with that being said Kara is definitely making this show so much darker, which I love. Uh, there was always a darkness in Naruto, the series as a whole. Like, there was just stuff you knew. Once it started popping off, there wasn't much to stop it. You know, like, you're in for the ride. And with these people finally making their moves and getting the screen time... It's pretty obvious that um, we're going to see some ridiculous hype stuff pop off because of, whoa, I never done that, because of just what we've already been uh, introduced to from what people are saying to compared to, uh, you know, just what's been shown on the screen. It's pretty obvious we're going to have some ridiculous stuff popping off. They just took out their own teammate, burned him alive. Not to mention, we find out that Deep somehow made the leader Jigen laugh at some time. <laughs> like, he was, mate, that was, like, a good jokester. Or maybe he's probably just talking about the tree of fruit or something all the time, and it made him laugh. And he's just, like, this guy's never going to have that experience, and that's probably funny to him. Um, but I... Would love for them to elaborate on that, but instead, they straight up kill this man 
while he's in an incubating tank like it's nothing. So I really don't know what's going on when it comes down to Kara. But I, all I do know is they seem very close to the uh, yeah the Osuski when it comes to or what am I thinking of Okatsuki? Why do I think of Osuski? Uh, they're like the Okatsuki when it comes down to they have wildly different personalities, and it seems like because some of them are different, they could do this stuff, right? Like how one of them just straight up assassinates the other and all the other members are probably don't know that it happened right like i would be surprised if they knew that was going to happen and they already heard you know so it's that type of stuff that really makes you uneasy in my opinion for what they can be capable in the future but with that being said everybody i hope you have an amazing day night evening whatever the case may be when you're watching this i am your boy the anime jerk and I'll talk to you in the next one. So with that, peace.